Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in today's video, as you can see, I have an iPad Pro right over here, and this is running the latest version of iPad OS, which is also known, or maybe some people think it is known as the iOS 13. Now, the iOS 13 name has been discontinued uh, for the iPads. The iPads are going to be running iPad OS from now on. And of course, in this video, I'm going to show you guys something pretty amazing. So as you can see, I do have a Bluetooth mouse right over here, and it is in fact connected to my iPad. Uh, so the iPad OS, the latest version of iOS 13, is now giving us mouse support on our iPads. So I can actually uh, move this mouse around. I can click on certain applications. Okay, so I can click on the application that launches the application. I can press on the middle button. I'll go back to the home screen. I can also tap on the right uh, click button here and that's going to launch a menu that you can click to access your notifications or even uh, pull down your notifications control pan panel like that. Click here to go back. Click this again to bring up the panel. Again, so if you click this, it goes back home. If you click this, it clicks on the screen. You can move the screen around and if you click the right click button, that brings up this menu from where you can do all kinds of things as you can see okay you can even lock the rotation you can lock the screen and all that good stuff uh, but again you can launch applications let's click on that it's been launched and when i'm done reading my stuff over here i can just uh, click the uh, middle button here on the mouse and that's going to take it back to the home screen so that's fantastic let me quickly show you how to get this done and i do want to let you know uh, if you do have a wired mouse with this kind of adapter, an adapter that allows you to uh, convert the USB jack of the wireless mouse into a USB Type-C uh, jack, you can actually plug this in here and it's going to serve the same exact functionality. But I want to show you, I don't like cables too much, so I'm going to show you guys uh, with this one. But the same procedure applies uh, to the wireless mouse as, you, as long as you can uh, accomplish this simple setup. Okay, all you need is a, a USB to USB Type-C adapter that can be purchased for a couple bucks. I'll put a link down below. But here I do have a wireless Bluetooth mouse. Now let's go to the settings. And what you want to do is you want to go to accessibility. And then from accessibility, you want to go to touch right over here, touch. And then from touch, you want to go to assistive touch. And you want to make sure assistive touch is enabled, which is this menu at the bottom, right? This menu, let me just push, push the mouse away. This menu is independent of the mouse, but it has to be enabled to use the mouse. So I can use this menu by myself by tapping on it, no problem, okay? But anyway, so forget about that. You enable that, and then you do go down over here to pointing devices. You tap on it, and then from here, uh, as you can see, I have the designer mouse uh, connected to my iPad. If I go back over here, uh, this is the Bluetooth devices right over here. Again, Apple Pencil and the designer mouse, which is this one right here, has been connected to my uh, iPad, and that's how I'm able to use it. I can also go inside over here, and I can change the button setting. So I can actually, button one, right now, this button is designed for single tap, okay? I can change that to something else, any one of these options over here. If I go back, button two, which is this button here, the secondary right-click button, this brings up the uh, assistive touch uh, option and of course the middle button here let's go back here button three which is this button right here in the middle if i click the middle button it takes everything home and i'll let you know if i do go into one of these settings let me use the mouse let me just go here into the settings i can actually scroll up and down using the scroller okay so this is just a beta remember this is ipad os beta full of bugs uh, it is not even optimized. I'm sure it's going to be optimized for the Apple Magic Mouse, which I do have right over here. But as of now, it hasn't worked, so I use this Bluetooth mouse. So I was able to confirm operation for this, and I was able to confirm operation for a mouse with an actual uh, cable over here uh, with the proper adapter. If you have a mouse that has a USB port, which is a Type-C port like this one, you can connect it directly to your iPad. But if not, you're going to need this little adapter. And I'm going to drop a link for this down below for you guys, all right? So this is great news. Even though this is beta, uh, this is going to show, this is showing us that it's coming, okay? iPad is going to have mouse support very soon, and that's going to make this device very, very usable, especially when I'm sitting on the desk like this and if I'm just uh, working on it with my mouse, okay? So let's click on this button, go home, swipe. I can swipe on the screen, press here, swipe over, okay? Press here, 
swipe over, Oop, swipe over. Uh, launch any application by clicking on it. Go back home. All the buttons are customizable via the menu right over here. Oops, let's go back. The menu right over here allows you to customize all the buttons, all right? Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. But that's the quick thing I wanted to share with you guys in this video today. All right, for now, have a fantastic day.